In just two days, the focus of the political world will be on South Carolina, where former President Donald Trump will be making his first visit to an early voting state following a latest indictment. Trump will be speaking at the South Carolina Republican Party's annual Silver Elephant Gala in Columbia. State House reporter Mary Green has more on what his top rivals and one of top allies in South Carolina are saying ahead of that trip. Governor Henry McMaster is one of former President Trump's top supporters here in South Carolina. The governor was also at one point the state's top federal prosecutor and says he believes this latest indictment is insubstantial. Reading about it and reading those portions that I have, I just do not see the substance. I don't think the law fits it. I don't think the facts fit, fit it. And it's, this is just uh, this is a campaign against Donald Trump. McMaster told reporters he believes special counsel Jack Smith, who is leading the federal government's prosecution, is out of line with these four new charges. They accuse Trump of working to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. I think he'll win and he'll win handily South Carolina. Hours before Trump's arraignment Thursday in federal court in Washington, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis spoke virtually with South Carolina reporters. DeSantis has been critical of the investigations leading to Trump's indictments. I will end the weaponization of government, uh, IRS, DOJ, FBI. But he says this election should be a referendum on what he characterized as the failures of the Biden administration. If the election becomes about the past, if it becomes about what happened three or four years ago, five or six years ago, if it's about, you know, this document or that document, well, Biden's going to be able to be in the basement again. He's going to be able to fly under the radar. Uh, and I think he's going to be able to get away with it again. And we're going to end up uh, saying, you know, what happened? How come, you know, we can't win these elections? In a tweet, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott says he's concerned about, quote, the weaponization of Biden's Department of Justice and its immense power used against political opponents. In recent months, Trump has held steady in topping the polls of likely Republican voters here in South Carolina, with DeSantis, Scott, and former Governor Nikki Haley all jockeying for position behind him ahead of the rest of the field. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Well, we reached out to Haley's campaign for a comment on Trump's latest indictment and how it could impact the race, but have yet to hear back. In light of the indictment of former President Trump, Chairman of South Carolina's Legislative Black Caucus, Ivory Thigpen, released a statement today. It read in part, quote, the indictment of a former president is a rare and significant event in our nation's history. It serves as a reminder that no individual is above the law, regardless of their position or power. Thigpen went on to urge all Americans to be responsible and respect the rule of law as proceedings continue.